This year, it's been a good summer. We built those two canoes out of Como Park um, at the band shell there, and we had a really successful event. We got the two canoes done in two weeks, like we had hoped to, and um, it worked. I, th I think they did a good job sticking together, doing what needed to be done. A lot of craftsmanship came out in their work. They really paid attention to what they were doing since they knew that these two canoes were a representation of the work that they were showing off to the public. Um, and they also knew that they were going to take them up into the Boundary Waters. Um, we got quite a few comments like, what is that thing? Uh, people just hadn't seen a canoe like that. And so it was fun to see them talk about their work, um, talk about what it goes into it, and why this is a good boat, and why that um, your plastic boat isn't everything you think it is. So that was pretty fun. We did a thing where each day one of the apprentices was leader of the day. And so whatever they said went for that day. They had to show us where to go. They had to read the map. They had to tell us when to break for lunch. They had to help pick the campsite. They had to get the group together. Um, and so that was really fun to see each day the apprentice or the leader of the day take on that role. And how I think uh, a respect came over them for what that role is and, and the responsibility it takes to be a leader. And so it was just this People saw what needed to be done and they did it. And um, it's just something that happened that you can't uh, push. Um, you just have to kind of instill values into these guys about, you know, uh, responsibility. Okay, you see something needs to be done, you just do it. You just do it because that's what needs to get done. And I think that's what Urban Boat Builders does is we do small things in the shop here um, that instill those values like responsibility craftsmanship, working together, team, teamwork um, in here and then they take that out of here also. So not only on our trip but hopefully in their communities, their families, with their friends, they're doing these things that we're showing them in here and they're taking them to their lives outside of here. We had two primary objectives for having that event and one of them was to get these guys um, some recognition from the community for doing things that were positive, that were that people wouldn't have expected them to do, I guess, given their their history. I think it achieved that objective very well. And I don't know how often these guys experience that, where uh, you know they're doing something publicly that other people look at and think this is fantastic and unusual, and, and they don't even know where these guys are coming from. I think that fear is something that's pretty normal for young people to seek out. I still do it, not as much as I used to, but um, we found some cliffs up there and we did a little cliff jumping. Favorite stories? Well, the story that all the kids tell is jumping off the cliffs and, and <laughs> I, I, I didn't jump off the cliffs, but I took a few pictures, but it was... <laughs> Given, like, a lot of their histories, which sound pretty scary to me, they were pretty scared of jumping off. It was like a 20-foot cliff into the water. Um, but I think they loved it as much as I did. Uh, it's all about teamwork for what I experienced. And, and we jump off a 20-foot cliff. It's amazing. And at first we looked at it, it was just so high, but when we got up there, it was kind of scary, but we did it. And, and it was pretty fun. When we first paddled up to the cliff, it was, it didn't look that scary, but then when you got up there, it was looking pretty high. And then it made you change your mind, made you kind of nervous, but then when you jump off the cliff, you just realize you did something really awesome. More of life than just getting in trouble all the time. There's fun things out there to do, like building boats and taking them out. It's, it's fun. Keeps you out of trouble too. They built their boat and then they proved to themselves and to other people that their boats and they could handle the trip. Um, and that's kind of the formula for every trip. And it, it worked out.